Every year, one in five Australians will suffer from a form of mental illness and most won't have any access to treatment for their disease. However, some have started looking to alternative ways to begin the healing process, including a sport that you definitely wouldn't expect. These may not look like people who were at the darkest point of their lives just a year ago. Nice, again. One more big one. Go, go. Good. For as long as he can remember, Stephen Ellis had suffered from anxiety and depression until he decided to quite literally fight the disease. When the father of two saw an ad for a series called Wimp to Warrior, which aims to turn average Joes into mixed martial arts fighters, he saw his opportunity to turn his life around. I said in front of my kids, this would be pretty cool, and they're like, you could never do that, Dad. And I'm like, but it's Wimp to Warrior, I'm a wimp. And they're like, yeah, you are. And I went, yeah, I suppose I am, but now it's time to change. 37-year-old Roxy Kelly also saw it as a chance to tackle her post-traumatic stress. <laughs> actually really rocks your confidence and even though you have the counselling to kind of handle the flashbacks there was still something I needed and uh, yeah um, I found that in Wimps Warrior I found that confidence and that reward for, for putting effort in. For both the first step was easily the hardest. I probably spoke to my wife probably half a dozen times to say I'm turning around I can't do this I, it's just not going to happen I cannot go into a room let alone a gym full of people I don't know and be judged, this just can't happen. Ah, the first time they put the camera on me and they, they asked the same question, why are you here? I just, I just waterworks, lost it, and I ran into the bathroom. I'm here to uh, try and work towards getting my confidence back. To really kind of get back to where I was. Yeah. <laughs> What followed was six months of intense training which culminated in fights in front of a crowd more than 2,000 strong. The physical change, a bonus, their mental transformation, nothing short of life-saving. Uh, I think it gave me my life back. MMA is a good metaphor for life in that you've got parts of your game where you're strong and parts where you're not as strong. And I think life's that way. And just as rewarding for their coaches. It's undescribable really, especially from us. I mean. It's very rare that you'll see someone come from this, you know, person in this dark room and, and come training and then to see them at a point where they're stepping into a cage to compete in front of 2,000 people full of confidence. I mean, that's challenging for anyone. So it's, it's amazing, yeah. Regardless of the result in the cage. I essentially lost my fight, but won the biggest fight of my life, I believe. Um, you know, no matter metaphorically, who's standing in front of me, they may beat me down, but they're not going to beat me. Now, these guys have been telling me how tough they are, but it's time for them to show me. After you. No, it's all right. Ladies first. Ah. Nick Lockyer, ABC News. Oh, wow. What Nick, people do for their job. I think we'd better bring the man of the moment in for, for <laughs> Hello, discussion. About Those thing. guys were very tough. Don't, you know, yeah. I, was, I was letting them have their moment, you know, but I they were so. very yeah. tough. Wow. Far out. Was there some bicep flexing during that piece um, Absolutely. Just, piece of camera? Pump, just pumped up the guns before it got on there. But, but it's um, a terrific story. It's yeah. fantastic. And those guys um, really came a long way. And, you know, they, they were saying there uh, earlier, uh, they, couldn't, they couldn't actually c uh, entertain the concept of, of going into any sort of social situation. They threw themselves into this, uh, into the deep end and really uh, got on with um, uh, getting into the mixed martial arts yeah. and, and it changed their lives and, and it's fantastic for them. And um, hey, they've both got an MMA fight under, the, uh, under their belt, a cage fight. Roxy looked like she was very fit because I mean, boxing for women, I think he's often sort of like, oh yeah, you know, I'll do boxer size at the yeah. gym and mm. that'll be enough. But she looked fantastic. Roxy is a beast. I, I was actually uh, <laughs> I know really she's going to take that in the right way. No, she will. She will. She'll be stoked with that. She was, uh, I was really worried about getting in the cage with her, but um, no, they were very nice and uh, Look, good people too. It's good to see these alternative therapies because, you know, there, there's a lot's been made about uh, medication for mental illnesses and that sort of thing. But, you know, I, I reckon try anything that works, including physical yeah, activities. In combination, like yeah. absolutely.